Hi, my name's Chloe, and in this course, I'll walk you through the creation of your first interface experience. Before we start, you may want to download the zip file containing all resources that will be used for this tutorial. You'll find the link in this page. Save this file to your PC, and then, in File Explorer, right-click and extract all. Note the target location for the unzipped files, changing the destination if you prefer. Now, let's jump in and start getting our hands dirty. Our experience will be about the famous painter Vincent van Gogh. Want to sound fancy? Pronounce it Van Gogh. Composer is a what you see, what you get editor, known in the business as a WYSIWYG editor, which means your final interactive experience will look exactly like it does when you built it. Composer embeds our runtime called Player so you can play your experiences for the purposes of testing. When your experience is finished and ready for use in the real world, all you need is your project and a standalone instance of Player. Let's run Composer. To do so, use its desktop icon, or the Start menu on Windows 7 and Windows 10 PCs, or the Start screen on Windows 8 PCs. You are now looking at what we call the Experiences panel. On the new tab, select the very first option, the one titled Start from Blink. Give your project the name Van Gogh Experience. Click Browse to specify where on your PC you'd like this project to be saved. There's nothing wrong with accepting the default location. For display size, leave the default set to Full HD. That's 1920 pixels wide by 1080 pixels tall. We've chosen these settings because they match the display size of the devices we're targeting for this project. For your own project, be sure to specify the correct screen dimensions to ensure Composer presents you with the appropriate canvas size. Click OK. Look for the Scenes panel in the center of the blue ribbon at the top of Composer. This panel is used to list each scene, think of them as slides, in your experience. As this is a new experience, there's only one scene. The first scene we will build will contain biographical information about Van Gogh, so let's rename this scene to Biography. Double-click the name Scene 1 in the Scenes panel and then type the word Biography, followed by the Enter or Tab key on your keyboard. Good, you've just changed the name. Right-click an empty part of the scene to show its scene's context menu. Click Set the Image Background, choose Browse to Image, then browse to the folder you downloaded and unzipped at the beginning of this course. Inside that folder is a folder named General. Open that folder as well. Select the image named Van Gogh BG Blue and open it. Congratulations! You've just added an image to your experience. This means we can move on to the next step. 